Okay, I've got another control diagram question for you here. And this is the manufacture of a cruise control system to keep a car's speed constant. Okay, so we're looking at rotational speed and we're looking at keeping it constant. Even when it goes up and down hills, the system should allow the driver to take their foot off the accelerator once the desired speed has been set. Okay, so the answers are all in the question. First thing, it says, complete the control diagram below for the cruise control system. Well, firstly, we know that any signal coming back to the error detector at the front is always feedback loop. Okay. Uh, we also know that the feedback loop is just one of the two signals that goes into the error detector. So where's that signal come from? Something that measures rotational speed. So we could call it a speed sensor. That would get you the mark. But there's actually a, a term for a speed measuring device in a shaft. And it's a taco generator. Okay. But as I say, that's only one of the signals that goes into an error detector. The other signal is given to us in the question, and it's the desired speed. We want it to go at a particular speed. So the desired speed, uh, or if you're unsure about that, always go with the same answer, the preset level. That would work for temperature, uh, it would work for light, okay? In this instance, it's rotational speed. Next, it says, state the name of the control diagram symbol X. If you don't know this one, then you really are uh, on the wrong course. It's an error detector. It then says the control system makes use of a feedback loop. State the type of control produced by this automatic system. Well, it gives you the fact that it's an automatic system. That means there's no manual input. Nobody needs to press a button. It automatically happens. So that it's actually closed to the outside world. So it's a closed loop system which produces automatic control. And that is the easiest four marks in the exam.